Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and for my newest subscribers I'm glad you're joining us. My name is Yvonne. In today's video I thought I'd show you uh, the project I'm working on um, and I thought yeah I was crafting and I thought let's turn on the camera because maybe you like to make this project uh, also. Uh, what you need if you want to craft along is a guest check. It's something on my uh, wish list for a long time and I keep forgetting I have guest checks and it can be great fun to decorate them and I never did. I took a, a, a little image, doesn't matter which one. Uh, I took a Vergade uh, image of the autumn because that's now the season. I backed it already with a dictionary paper this is Greek dictionary and I glued it on purpose a little askew, just a bit. Then some doilies, or yeah just one, but the color is depending on your picture and the color of your guest check. I'm going to use some labels and I'm going to use uh, a stamp of uh, sand pool and then some lace bits uh, on top of here. So let's get started. Make a little room. Uh, I backed the uh, most guest checks are uh, very thin so I backed it on beige cardstock. It's pretty sturdy and then you got a you you get a yeah a good uh, sturdy uh, tag or journal card. On the back I'm gonna decorate just a bit because yeah I want to journal on it. This is for my personal uh, journal. I took two doilies because uh, this one uh, I can ink up a bit to make it a bit darker or I can take the brown one I wanted to see how that looks I'm gonna ink this up and I can see it better uh, which one I like most for inking uh, such a thin paper I like the makeup brush and my distress ink and I'm just gonna darken it up. I don't uh, have an autumn journal. I saw on uh, social media that a lot of people do. I made uh, an autumn journal once uh, to sell, not to use on my own. But now I, I think I'll just make uh, a couple of pages in my regular journal. I don't know if I want a complete journal full of autumn. But I saw very beautiful ones uh, passing. So lots of people are busy making them. I'm going to crinkle it up a bit. Because it's otherwise so pristine, I don't like that. And in the crinkles, I'm gonna ink it up a bit. You won't see all of it, of course, because of the picture. We don't uh, have autumn weather yet in the Netherlands. All the trees are still with green uh, leaves. So the beautiful orange and yellow like in my picture, that's, we have to wait a bit for that. Today 
uh, today's the 8th, 8th uh, October, and we had a gorgeous day. It started with complete mist, a lot of accidents uh, on the road in the traffic jams, but it was great weather. So I took, uh, I took a walk to enjoy the sunshine. I have a bit of a glare. I like this. It's just a subtle difference. Let's see if I can ink this up. I'll take my oxide. Maybe it's a bit more colored because otherwise I don't know if you will see it on the on the dark brown. And of course, in a lot of places in the world, there's no autumn at all. So we have to make do what we have. Now, always my decisions, decisions. Yeah, I'm filming in the evening, so there is much more glare than in the daytime. Yeah, I like this dark brown, it gives more contrast. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I want to let the, the numbers of the, where you can fill in the date, I want to have that showing. And I'm going to use my glue stick for this. It's very thin, so yeah. It's stuck down a bit already. And then I'll continue with the rest a bit. I don't want to glue it all the way because I want to curl up the edges. Oh, I have two. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> because that one I crinkled. They stick together very tightly always. <laughs> Second attempt. And then here in on the edges, I'm just gonna use some clear glue. Always forget to put my needle in the sponge. I made that so I don't have to uh, search for my needle all the time and then I keep forgetting to use the sponge. The back side isn't inked up, of course. If I can do that a bit. I didn't think of it because this is. Uh, no, it's not coffee dyed. I, I bought them in this color. But 
the end of season two. Yeah, I had to think about that in advance, but well, not a complete disaster. Cut it off here. I still want to use that. Um, but I didn't want it in the middle. I want it on the other side and then lower. And then maybe I can make a little embellishment there. Do you like crafting along with videos or do you normally just watch what the people are making and then maybe later um, you're gonna make it? Or do you craft along with the video? I, myself, I always watch the video and then when I like it, um, later I'll check it out again. And then um, I have my supplies and the things I want to use. Yeah. The bigger bottle. And this also, um, I'll glue just in the middle. So the curled edges will stay that way. And I'm positioning the, the picture uh, in a straight line with, with the lines here. So the dictionary is askew. It's moving because of the wet glue. Then I, I can crinkle up this a bit more and this. Yeah. Let's see which label I like. I have some um, autumn labels uh, from Musings by Nikki. These are the grunge labels and these are the, the autumn labels. But I have a lot of labels and that's not <laughs> all of them. 
Let's see the real small ones I don't want. Or an awesome one. And I was thinking of putting maybe a larger label. Here and as a small pocket or touch spot. Really like this, but then it's very small to tuck something in. And these are very light. I don't like them on here. No, these two do not. These are smaller. And they're all too small. Yeah, I think I'll use that. Yeah, and then up a bit. I did some more crafting today and some days it all works out and I have enough ideas <laughs> and sometimes I don't, but today was a good day. So I'm go gonna put glue on the three sides. Oops. I don't know what I'm going to tuck in, but I'll see. Maybe a nice, a nice image with a, from a squirrel or something. I always like that. A real autumn, a real autumn a, a animal. Let me find a little bit. So now you can tuck something in. No. No, I don't want to. I want a label here or here. I think these are too big. Yeah, these are too big. They're not, not going to be used. Mm. I wanted to stamp a number on here, but that one, not that one, but I'm thinking maybe the number label, the ready number label, can also be nice. Um, let's see. What we have. 
wants. Maybe in there. I don't think they're uh, a bit yellow or orange. Those labels aren't in those colors. It holds. Oh, that's too long. Didn't like that either. Oh, the numbers are too big. Mm. Yeah. Do it like this a bit. More difficult than I thought to find what I really like. These ones, but these are all bigger, I think. I really like this color. Hmm. Maybe it is. No, it's too big. Then over here, there are smaller ones. And smaller, I mean the skinny, like this, but it's too much. These are all heavy bags. No. I'm going for this one. No longer thinking. I want to um, to stamp a number from the sample uh, clear stamps because I think that will look nice also. But then I had to use this one. Mm. Yeah. Maybe I can do something else with with these. I really like them. I ink this up because now I'm seeing the white edge and then it throws me off. Like that.
do like this and I can later because I don't have autumn sayings or words but maybe a nice word could be I have all kinds, but not an autumn one. But maybe it can be. And then I can put it in later. And then the number. Yeah, I really like that. But I don't think there's anything fall to me. I have nature sayings. All kinds of things, but not the right one. Yeah, but something like this. I really like that. And then I can stamp a number on here. And something to me. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. No, that's too much, too heavy up there. And then I can. Yeah. I'm going to cool this down. Let's see which one I like. Let's do it. I like the 18 because I, I like the like the real written numbers. I like those better than the straight ones. So this one is gonna be. Gonna use a bit darker ink. This is espresso truffle because otherwise I don't think it will it'll stand out uh, on the darker background. Yes. So. That's okay. And now for some lace on top. Because you can already see it needs something here. It's it's missing something otherwise. Yeah, I would normally do something here also, but 
Yeah, when I want to use it for journaling, I don't think it's a good idea. Um, let's see. This one we don't need anymore. This also. Mm. This is a strange fabric and I really like it. They use it a lot. It's very... Yeah, you can tear it. it and it gets thinner. They use it in um, flower arrangements. I can't remember what it is. I, maybe coconut uh, leaf, something like that. Let's see if I have a little piece of the brine. I really like the organic, uh, the way it looks. This is a bit big, I don't want to use that. Maybe a flower. I think I have a green flower. Mm. I keep everything in these plastic uh, containers because I really like it. You can see through what's in it. And I have this one for the, for the bits. This is all for the flowers and my bases are in these uh, containers. This flower I was looking for. And then that's too much. Let's see. A bit of a triangle. Oop. Maybe this is one of the and then the green flower that I can use maybe. It was uh, normally uh, off white, but I inked it up with green. Let's see. Yes. Yes, I like it better with the green. Mm. 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 Mm.
looking on my screen <laughs> to see what I like most. This is better. This is something I like better. So stop looking. And something else I um, try to use more. Yeah, I'm, this year I'm trying to use all kinds of things um, I normally forget or I have for a long time and yeah, hardly use it, and that's brads. I always keep forgetting I have them, and yeah, it can be a nice addition. So I think I'll put a brad in, in the middle through, through the card. Mm -hmm. The yellow will look nice, but it's maybe it's fallen through here. I have to see. Maybe put some glue under it. Yeah, I like the yellow. All kinds of colors. I think very small. I think I'll put some glue on the back. I don't know if it's necessary, but just in case. Very tiny. Let's see where I want to put the hole. Okay. A bow pair with my pokey tool. And this is gonna use. Not in frame, I'm sorry. Like that. Let's see if I can turn it a bit. Oh, yes, I really like it. Open this up a bit. No, not really. Just for the finishing up. And this is the result. We're almost done. Here it is. A lot of glare because of the, the late night. Uh, I really like it. Yeah. Maybe I'll cover this up with a little sticker or something when I know what I'm gonna journal. Maybe I can uh, put something over it. I 
I'm not bothered by it, but maybe maybe I'll put something on there. So this is my project. I hope you really liked it. Maybe you'll give it a try. There are so many uh, options uh, in which you can use a guest check because every uh, image will, good, will look good on this. You can also make a pocket down here and then decorate. So this is my contribution for today. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you liked this video, I would love a like and a comment. And I will see you next time. Bye!